Hey guys, welcome to Akas Biology and the topic that we'll be discussing today is the physiology of liver. So before going on to the physiology of liver, let us have a brief review of the anatomy of liver. So as we know, liver is the largest organ of our body and it lies in the upper quadrant, up, right upper quadrant of our body. So it has got the shape like this. It has got the shape like this. So it has got the two lobes, the right lobes and the left lobe. And these both lobes are connected, these both are lobes are connected like by a ligament. And these ligaments are, is known as falciform ligament. Falciform ligament. Now there is a covering of liver. So liver is covered by a mesenchymal structure and that covering is known as Gleason's capsule. What? Gleason's capsule. So this is about the anterior structure of liver. Now coming on to the posterior surface of liver. So the posterior surface of the liver is like this. <coughs> so the posterior surface of liver, I'm very terrible at drawing, though I'm trying to make. So we can see there's a gallbladder, space for the gallbladder. So going here is a duct. There is another duct and there is three ducts are over here. There is upper side is the caudate lobe and lower side is the quadrate lobe. Quadrate lobe and there is the caudate lobe. These both are the parts of the right lobe, posterior surface of the right lobe. So we are getting three structures over here. One of the portal vein, another of the hepatic artery and third one of the bile duct. So there is a three ducts opening over here. So it is known as portal triad. What? Portal triad and here are two ligaments as well here is the round ligament of liver and there is ligamentum venosus ligamentum venosus so ligamentum venosus is an embryonic remnants of the ductus venosus and similarly the round ligament of liver is uh, the remnant part of umbilical vein now this is all about the a brief review about the structure of liver now coming on to the histological structure of liver so as we have seen that the liver is composed of lobes the right lobe and left lobe quadrate lobe and the caudate lobe so these lobes are again made up of the various lobules so if we cut our structure of lobule so we can get like these structures there is a central lumen central lumen of the central vein and here is the presence of that triad Again, there is a presence of lobules and there is again presence of portal triad, portal triad over like this. So, if we see the structure over here in the simplified version, so we can have these structures. So, there is a central vein, it communicates with the sinusoids. So, this is the sinusoids over here. In the central part, we can see there is a presence of hepatocytes and there is a bile canaliculus. So the hepatocytes will secrete the bile and the bile is secreted into the bile duct via the bile canaliculus. Now there is a now the portal vein and there is a hepatic artery. So both will supply the blood to the sinusoids. Now sinusoids will supply or the blood of the sinusoids is drained by the central vein and the central vein will drain the blood into the hepatic vein and finally into the inferior vena cava. Similarly, it also receives the supply of a terminal lymphatic vessel as well. So, it is the terminal lymphatic vessels is draining the lymph into the space of DC. So, we can see between the sinusoids and the bile canaliculus or the hepatocytic space, that space is known as the space of DC. Now, in the, in the lining of the sinusoids is of endothelial cells but in between the endothelial cells there are some macrophages and that macrophages is known as coffer cells what coffer cells now portal vein will supply 1050 ml of blood per minute similarly the hepatic artery will supply 300 ml per minute that is that the liver is receiving 1350 ml per minute of blood in our body and the weight of the liver is nearly uh, 1.5 kilogram 
सो दिस इज अबाउट द हिस्टोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लिवर अ ब्रीफ रिव्यू ऑनली नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द बिलियरी सिस्टम बिलियरी सिस्टम मीन्स द डॉक्टर सिस्टम ऑफ लिवर दैट इज क्वाइट इजी बट वी आर कन्फ्यूज इन मेनी एस्पेक्ट ऑन दैट वी आई हैव नो डॉक्टर कमिंग ऑन टू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लिवर सो डॉक्टर सिस्टम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज लिवर ओवर हियर नो लिवर विल ड्रेन इट्स बाइल थ्रू टू हिपैटिक डॉक्ट दिस वन इज राइट हिपैटिक डॉक्ट एंड देर इज अ लेफ्ट हिपैटिक डॉक्ट सो राइट एंड लेफ्ट हिपैटिक डॉक्ट दे बोथ विल कम्बाइन टू फॉर्म कॉमन कॉमन हिपैटिक डॉक्ट नाउ इट इज ज्वाइंट बाय अ डॉक्ट फ्रॉम द गर्ल ब्लाडर एंड दैट इज नॉन एज सिस्टिक डॉक्ट सो कॉमन बाइल डॉक्ट विल कम्बाइन विद द कॉमन हेपैटिक डॉक्ट टू फॉर्म कॉमन बाइल डॉक्ट कॉमन बाइल डॉक्ट दिस वन इज राइट एंड लेफ्ट हेपैटिक राइट एंड लेफ्ट हेपैटिक सो इट इज द कॉमन हेपैटिक डॉक्ट कॉमन हिपैटिक डॉक्ट दिस इज द सिस्टिक डॉक्ट सो द राइट एंड लेफ्ट हेपैटिक डॉक्ट विल कम्बाइन टू फॉर्म कॉमन हिपैटिक डॉक्ट ना कॉमन हेपैटिक डॉक्ट विज ज्वाइंट बाय सिस्टिक डॉक्ट फ्रॉम द गर्ल ब्लाडर टू फॉर्म कॉमन बायल डॉक्ट ना द कॉमन बायल डॉक्ट इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय अ स्पिंसर दैट इज नॉन एज स्पिंसर ऑफ ओडी स्पिंसर ऑफ ओडी नॉर्मली the spinster of od will prevent the bile entering into the duodenum or the intestine so whenever there is a sufficient stimulus then only this spinster will relax and there is a flowing of bile into the intestine now coming on to the it is they there is also uh, it is also receiving a duct from the pancreas so it is receiving a duct from the pancreas that is a pancreatic duct that is the common that is the main duct of pancreas so duct of wilson so it will form a hepato pancreatic pancreatic duct so this is also there is the opening and it opens into the major duodenal papilla so that is known as ampulla of batter ampulla of batter so this is about this question is quite easy but it is a confusing so how there is arrangement of duct so again i will repeat right and left hepatic duct will combine to form common hepatic duct now common hepatic duct will combine with the cystic duct to form common bile duct and the common bile duct is being guarded by spinster of od now spinster of od spinster of od will on getting the sufficient stimulus it will relax and there is a flowing of bile now it is joined by the main pancreatic duct of wilson to form hepato pancreatic duct or the ampulla of batter so this is about the ductal system now coming on to the secretions of bile so the main secretions of the liver is bile so if we see the composition of bile like as other it has also got the most of the percentage as water so it has got 97.5% water bile has got and 2.5% as solid 2.5% as solid so first of all the bile is secreted by hepatocytes so bile contains abundant amount of bile pigment bile salts similar lecithin and cholesterol now as it is passing through the duct sodium bicarbonate are being added to the bile then after that it is a stored it is stored in the gall bladder now in the gall bladder what actually happens so it has abundant amount of water so water is absorbed over here water is absorbed in gall bladder absorbed secondly the ph is decreased ph is decreased and then ph is decreased similarly electrolytes are absorbed electrolytes are absorbed is set two of the metals that is calcium and potassium are not being absorbed similarly water content is decreased that is the concentration of other materials are increased in the bile that occurs in the gall bladder so it is the secondary change of bile 
and at last the specific gravity a specific gravity is also increased so these are the changes that occurs in the gall bladder as it stores the bile now coming on to the composition of bile in the solid there are both the organic substance and inorganic substance coming on to the organic substance it will get it will it contains bile salts bile pigment lecithin cholesterol mucin and inorganic substances as electrolyte sodium chloride bicarbonate potassium all of the things now coming on to the fate of the bile bile salts so what happens to the bile salts sorry for the inconvenience that i have today i have no doctor i will buy it today so first of all there are primary bile acid that are being secreted by the liver these are known as cholic acid second one is the deoxycholic acid deoxycholic acid deoxycholic acid so these are both primary bile acid primary bile acids so these are primary bile acids now it will go into the intestine that it has a fate on the intestines as it goes into the intestine intestine it will be acted upon by bacteria so it will be acted upon by bacteria to form that it will form deoxycholic acid deoxycholic acid and it will form lithocholic acid lithocholic acid so these are secondary bile acid mainly asked in the entrance examinations which of the following is primary bile acid which of the following is secondary bile acids why secondary bile acids because in the intestine it is acted upon by bacteria then again through enterohepatic circulation so there is a quite confusing term what is enterohepatic circulations so what is so mainly what happens so we are seeing in the structures liver is getting blood through both of these artery as well as through portal vein so what actually does the portal vein so any of the blood from the intestine or the mid gut or the hand gut first of all goes into the portal vein then into the liver then from liver through inferior vena cava then after that into the heart so again admissions from intestine or any part of mid gut or hand gut first of all portal vein portal vein then on to the central vein then inferior vena cava vena cava then to the right 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 aorta so we are getting any of the substances that are any of the substances absorbed in the intestine first of all it has got the fate in the liver similarly so liver as liver has secreted into the intestine but again it is going on to the liver so it is enterohepatic circulation entero means intestine and hepatic means liver so it is going from intestine into the liver so enterohepatic circulations so into the in the liver so it will again go into the liver now in the liver it will be conjugated with amino acids conjugated means there is a conjugation reactions over there with the glycine glycine and there is a taurine so as it has got the sodium and potassium electrolyte so it will form sodium glycocholate potassium glycocholate glycocholate similarly sodium taurocholate potassium taurocholate so this is all about the, this is the most important part primary bile acid secondary bile acid then conjugation reaction enterohepatic circulations now coming on to the bile pigments these are about the bile salts bile salts now coming on to the bile pigments so what so how the bile pigments are synthesized so many question is being asked what are, is the source of bile pigment so it is due to the rupture of rbc rupture of rbc or the dead rbc so if there is a dead rbc as it has gone age in a sense then dead rbc has got the evident of hemoglobin so free hemoglobin is toxic to the body so that it has to be degraded so it will split into the two part heme part and globin part so globin part is used for the amino acid synthesis amino acid synthesis now heme part has got two things there is the ferrous ions so it will be used in the iron metabolism and at last is a porphyrin pigment 
porphyrin ring so the porphyrin ring or the heme that is heme got the two part so sorry so heme will give out <coughs> Uh, hemoglobin globin has got and then after that becoming on to the heme part so heme part has iron and it will be degraded into the bilirubin it is a green colored pigment i will not go into the enzymatic reactions then after that it will be going into the reaction of bilirubin that is a blue colored pigment blue color pigment so these are unconjugated because they are unconjugated that is free form of bilirubin so the free form of bilirubin is highly toxic to the body so it will form complex with the albumin albumin that is a most abundant protein in our body so it will form complex with the albumin and circulate in our body blood then after that it has got the freight in the intestine first of all goes into the intestine then it is conjugated over there intestine then after that goes into the liver conjugated with the <coughs> various acid that is not quite uh, necessary for this level of and i will be dealing about the fate of the bilirubin and the porphyrin synthesis in my next lectures so this all is about the liver i hope you have liked the video and if this video is really helpful to you please tap the subscribe button thank you